April 1st, 2012, we are at Newtown Creek. Queens is across the creek. We are on the Brooklyn side. Newtown Creek was settled in the early 1800s, where there were approximately 550,000 people in the New York City area. As of January 15th, 2012, 212 years later, there are now 20 million people. This, we are told, is the third most contaminated site from an oil spill disaster behind BP Gulf of Mexico and Exxon Valdez. There are a minimum of 30 million gallons that have been spilled into Newtown Creek. The point is, people cause oil spills. Everyday oil spills and the cumulative effect need to be addressed. And we are here to talk about a small part of a simple solution to clean up New York City and the surrounding waterways. Here we are outside of a national grid facility and there is an outfall pipe, a discharge pipe from process, industrial water, whatever they do. And we have detected sheen in the water and we are at Newtown Creek and we are now going to deploy the Opflex cube boom and the Opflex sweep. The Opflex cube boom is used for containing and absorbing the oil. The Opflex sweep will rapidly remove the oil from the water. There's more surface area just on these three. You have over 100 square feet of surface area. It's more than the entire amount of white booms in the water in Newtown Creek. The Opflex environmental indicator technology was first tested and deployed in the middle of the BP Gulf oil disaster where we successfully fingerprinted and detected subsurface oil. Here we are in Newtown Creek. There's a discharge pipe where I just deployed the Opflex environmental indicator and submerged it. We can test for number two oil, we can test for gasoline, we can test for PCBs, we can test for a whole host of oil and related carbon contamination, and we can fingerprint that. And we can do it in a cost-effective manner. What is unprecedented is that we can literally test, we can cut a finger off the Opflex, test it at one day, at two days. So we, can, we are able to roadmap and, and mimic the behavior of subsurface life, whether plant or oyster or fish, what is the level of PCBs going to be after one day, after two days, after three days, or the level of oil going to be after one day, after two days, after three days, etc. So in 212 years, we've gone in the New York area from 550,000 people to 20 million. Just think about how much space we've lost in the landfills. We need to address the landfills just as much as we need to address the removal of the oil from the water. It's all about filtering the oil from the water and removing the oil from the water. And then we bring it out, we reuse it, and we do not impact the landfills. Adopting the Opflex technology now is an example of an important next step we can take to preserve the waterways for the future. 